Everybody. All right, all right, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended on the Ark and Art server with Darby Topknot, Love, and Beaker. We finally have a name. Uh, today, we need to gather up tons and tons and tons of materials, but first, I'll bet you didn't know that I was hunting Tapahara. Well, right behind us in there, someplace, is a level 130. Let's see if we can get it. All right, people. So we've been kind of passively going around and when it... Oh, you, <laughs> do you see what I said? Why is there always something like that going on? Look at this, dude. Seriously? Listen, your event is over. Stop it. Right now. You know what? I actually have some gifts left over. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll go after him. But for now, not. Um, I was just flying the Anki over. Um, who got named Iridium, by the way. Uh, and we saw a Tapahar. Every time I see one, I go ahead and look. And it was just sitting there. And it was a 130. So what I'm gonna do, um, it basically, they're super, super timid. Like if you get, hello bird, if you get near them, they will fly away. Um, so I, I'm going to eat these, which should make everything in the universe mad at me, which is not a great look, but you know, it will help us with this. So. You know, I'm going to fly from the other side because I don't know where it went and I don't want it to get scared before I can actually start this. So we'll get this all set up and then we'll bring you guys right back. Okay, everybody. It's right over there. Um, so I need to pick up... Just going to try to take it down to the beach. Um, so let's go ahead and take this. This should make everybody mad at me. Okay, cool. He's chasing me. So I just need to get him down here. I'm going to take some more. Keep coming. Keep coming. Let me land. Get off. No, 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 no. Buddy. Come on. There we go. Did I get him? Okay, sweet. Now let's go. Go out. Oh, don't die though. Don't die. Just go unconscious. Is he dead? No. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Um, let's take care of this. And I think... Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's dump all of that on you. I don't know how quickly they tame up or anything like that. We just have to keep him safe. <laughs> what a disaster. I've actually never tried that that way before. 
Um, but, you know, uh, that's probably what you've come to expect uh, on this channel. <laughs> is, um, yeah, a little bit of uh, a strange path to cool stuff. Let's put it that way. So let's see. Oh, this is going to be so cool. If we can get this, then, uh, yeah. Awesome. So what we'll do is we will guard this this guy with our life, and then we will bring you guys back as soon as we have an answer as to whether we get a Tapahara or not. They're just awesome for moving around on. They can go straight up, straight down, and all of this stuff. So they're one of my favorite flyers. Sweet. All right, people. So <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, should be just another minute, and uh, then we're going to have this guy. And do you realize that... I have been looking for these dudes for so long that Beaker has been carrying around a Tapahara saddle for weeks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just looking at them and hoping for that higher level one. And there we go. Yes. <laughs> All right. Amazing. Let's take a look at you. Very, very, very. Let's see. Are you a dude? Nope, you're a lady. How you doing? Welcome to the family. And that's kind of cool colors. I don't think I've seen that that pale green before. But let's go ahead and get some armor on you. There we go. Now, cool thing about these guys is you can take along some friends. And they can shoot from back here. So let's, let's go ahead and give this a try. Look at that. See how... This dude can just stop in midair. Yeah, so we're almost home. And we're gonna go ahead and get this <laughs> get this guy fed. Uh, get her set up and we will need a name for our new friend. Uh, please put your suggestions in the comments and um, awesome. So we're gonna go back to harvesting up all the massive, massive amounts of resources we need. So uh, awesome, here we go. So the idea right now is to get together tons of resources, get ready for the next building project, and also to take away our problems with getting kibble and metal and all of those things. So uh, what we've done is we have gathered up a huge amount of resources. Actually, just a lot of metal is really what it is because we want to be able to make the industrial forge. The reason we want to make this is because we want to be able to make this guy right here so we can take care of our problems. But it makes sense that, um, I mean, we could make this right now, which is really what I want to do. But um, going this direction would just makes more sense because then we'll be able to get the metal cooked up faster and that's one of our issues. So we're going to go ahead and make this right now. I wonder how many experience this gives you. Let's go ahead and see. So we're right now at... 7135 7155 <laughs> Let's see. I don't know how tall these guys are now. Uh can we place it in here? It does not look like it will fit. Okay. So we're we're going to have to make some place outside for it, which is kind of what I expected. Uh you know what? We actually have a way of getting out here like this. I don't want to have to go a huge amount of distance from where we are. Can it fit in this area? Let's see. If it can... Let's see. We can lay down some... Foundations. And so, let's go ahead and we're going to go up into third person view. Oh, wow. That is exactly why it wasn't fitting. Um, huh. We might need to try something else for this. You know what? That might work. We might be able to fit it in there. Um, let's go ahead and try it this way, and we will just see how big big is. Uh, yeah, so that's not going to work like that. Boy, if we could have it in here, that would actually be really cool. But um, what we'll do is we'll go around 
and find a place to put this and then bring you guys right back. Okay, so we were unable to find any place, so <laughs> we decided to uh, make a place instead, and I think that will be about as good as it gets, right? Looks like it snapped in there just fine. Um, so let's go ahead and let's... Uh, actually, I want to put a door here. We'll do that, and we'll make it so that it... Always opens out? Yeah, towards us. Perfect. Um, you notice we have this uh, door here. That's a little secret door that takes us straight into here, which is where we'll be making everything. So we don't have to go that far. And let's see, are you powered up? No fuel unpowered. Oh, good. So this you have to put stuff into. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, I was hoping it wouldn't run off of the generator because if it did, then uh, we couldn't like throw a couple thousand metal in there and then let it go because it would just drain down everything else uh, as we were offline. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. Yeah, that's looking okay. Uh, we basically extended this same design we were doing here back to there so that we could do that. And it doesn't obstruct anything um, where people are up on the balcony or anything like that. You can see it through a window, but I think this will be good. And uh, yeah, let's run around here. They've been making a massive amount of eggs, by the way. Yeah, so that looks pretty cool there. Um, I think it works well with the design. It's not too obtrusive. It doesn't overpower anything. Usually those are like the biggest things that you have in your base. But now the base is bigger than that. So now we have gone out and gathered up a ton of metal, which cooked up in the furnace really, really quickly. Um, really, really nice. And uh, we did go pick up some more um, obsidian to help make this stuff and some oil just a little bit. And we are ready to make what we have wanted to make this whole time. The industrial cooker. Huge, huge technological advancement. So um, this should be really, really cool. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Let's turn this off. We'll bring this over. I'm once again not sure where it fits. I would love to put it right there. But we'll have to see if this can fit. Oh, look at this. Yeah. You know what? It, it will definitely go over there. So we just have to move some dinos and... Uh, then we will bring you guys back when we're ready to place this. All right, so we have moved some stuff. And um, one thing I didn't show you guys before, I don't think, uh, we did kill a Rhino Anatha, uh, and that was on the Rex. Um, Rexes are actually really good to do it. You might have to run a little bit um, at first. Let's see, I don't think we'll get anything next to it. So let's go ahead and try to place this right in the center. And this might make it easier to see. What do you guys think about right there? That looks pretty good. So let's see, is it all, it is powered and irrigated. Sweet, okay, cool. So now I think we can put here the fridges. Right, so we do have one that we can put here, and let's see if we can snap those. Um, we're gonna get like a max of two of these things here. So let's just go ahead and put it like that. We'll have to paint this one again. Yeah, okay, cool. And then we can put another one right there. I don't think we have the stuff we need to make one. If we do, that'd be cool because we are running out of space. And it should place like right in there. I really love the snapping stuff. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to get three. I love the snapping stuff that they've done. So now we should be able to move everything over to there with no problem. Sweet. And I guess you guys know what we're going to be doing next. Um, 
we have to make a gigantic amount of kibble because uh, over there, that egg thing is full, that one's full, and our um, egg picker-upper is full. Yeah, okay, cool. So we're gonna get ready and then we'll be back. All right, everybody. So we are going to start with some simple kibble <laughs> and uh, this feels so much better to do 49 at a time rather than waiting for each one to finish which took so long and then having to swap out the canteens and stuff like that um or i guess the water skins uh i would have three water skins going at any one time and so it would take just ages to get anything done here and i think that we have enough here this is really going to do a good job to um get rid of all of these eggs that we have so that we can actually store some eggs, right? Um, some of the eggs are eggs that we're gonna use for breeding, some of them aren't. And so uh, kibble is a huge, huge thing, especially like if we wanna go tame up a wolf pack or, um, you know, we do actually have some ideas for future episodes and things that would be cool to try. And I wanna try to tame up things that I haven't tamed so far, right? So. Uh, as this is going on, um, let's talk face to face. Yeah, so I wanna try to tame things and work with things that I haven't in the past. And um, so that's gonna be coming up. And uh, so we're gonna go after some things that might seem weird to people who like to optimize for the game, but I think that they'll be cool. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and cook up this um, simple kibble. Looks like we have 49 going and um, Let's see how that's how that's working. Look at how quickly it's doing this. Amazing. Uh, we're gonna cook up 25 regular kibble now. And um, so yeah, same process. You can see um, the reason that you wanna turn AutoCraft off is if you have like berries or things in here, it'll just start making everything under the sun. Anything that it can make with the ingredients you put in, it will start making which used to be okay when you used like for dyes you would use um different ingredients like catalysts uh like gunpowder and spark powder and all of that and so it wouldn't make the dyes without those things but then when they took that away i noticed um, when making some other stuff that it just starts making dye and uh not exactly something we want but um yeah, so we're gonna take these and uh, do a bunch more and we will bring you guys back when we have all of the kibble made and um, you know the recipes, they're all right in here. It will tell you what to use. Some of them, you need stuff like vocal chili, for instance, with this. Um, over here, giant bee honey, which we have none of. Uh, here, we're doing okay. Um, citronol. Jerky is a big thing here, rare mushrooms and rare flowers on some of them. So uh, yeah, we will bring you right back. So we have finished cooking up the kibble and here's what we have. Let's go ahead and take a look. We ended up, some of this was crafted before, but not that much of it. I think these two were crafted before the exceptional, um, or at least one of them was I think one we got from a Bronto egg that we stole. <laughs> um, but 224 basic kibble. Then we have 107 regular, 79 simple, and 44 superior. So a good start. And we do have a good supply of all those types of eggs that we need to create that stuff. So that's going to get better and better. We'll be able to make this stuff as we go along instead of having to do a bunch at a time. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a bunch of different dyes so that we can go ahead and start doing people's saddles and everything. But um, if you take a look, you'll notice that we have a bit of a dino disaster going on. We have more guys now. We have lots of little dudes on the floor so we have to do something about this and so what i'm going to do is i am going to do a little bit of cleanup and um then yeah we'll do a bit of a recap of uh, what we're working on outside and um that will get us ready to do a big big um episode with a big build all right so we have done a little bit of cleanup and uh Hannah here helped out a lot 
Um, so as you can see, things are a little bit more orderly back here, over here. Um, we moved the smithy over to this side and we have a little thing for crystal and metal there. Um, you can see that we painted up the industrial cooker. We have those guys painted up and we moved all of these dudes so that you could kind of get to them and uh, they're pretty much where they need to be and um, the different guys that we need to access and all of that. I did take um, Tinkerbell outside. You can see her out there through the window with the trikes and all of that. She's much happier with um, not having a uh, such a low roof over her head. But um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and call this a job well done. We have tons and tons of stuff, and so uh, we just want to show you one more thing before we end the episode for today. So now it is time to finally lay some of our lost friends to rest. Um, you can see that I'm here with Beaker, and Hannah um, has changed her outfit to fit the occasion. It's somber but we found a nice place up here just above the base where they can be remembered with uh, these wonderful trees here and so um, let's go ahead and put that there we'll put one here and we'll put this one over here so that we can light them up um, at night. And we'll go ahead and do this. The sun is starting to set. And uh, yeah, so these are just a, a few that have, um, have paid the price for the expansion that we're able to do to this point and uh, <laughs> we don't have that many more that come up here. Um, so I've made a few of these where we can set them up. And I think that maybe maybe we'll set them up like this. Um, this one. And we will turn the snapping off. And go like this. Let's go ahead and step back just a bit. And so first off, of course, is Triumph. It was our amazing Pegomastix who saved our lives and kept us safe from all the creatures when we first started out. Secondly, it's... Uh, Raptor Claws is cousin. He was with us just a short time, but um, was very important to us. And uh, he was killed by two uh, very high level Therizinosaurus that jumped him from behind. And then of course, nobody can forget um, the random Tyrannodon. who was killed by the menace um, that we had at the very beginning, that Rhino Natha, who came over right over to there and um, took him out right after he was tamed up. So, um, yeah, we're going to say goodbye to these guys and uh, remember them fondly and um, yeah. Rest in peace. All right, everybody. So it's been a great day today. Uh, lots and lots of resource gathering. We've done lots of work. We finally got the industrial forge, which accelerates everything tremendously. We had another technological advancement with the industrial cooker, which helped us get all of the 
hundreds of kibble that you guys saw and we do have to get some higher level dinos like uh, Utyrannus so that we can get the higher level of kibble but we were able to convince these two amazing flyers to join the team and uh, our Tapahara here who was a complete surprise at the beginning and uh, this beautiful red and blue uh, Pteranodon named Peter who was another surprise while we were on Irby Island and um, so yeah We've done a lot of work here, and you can see that we are on the foundation of our next big project. This is going to be the foundation of the tavern. So we have some great ideas on things to put around here. The tavern will be the beginning of it. There's going to be a blacksmith, a tailor. There's obviously the docks we have to make. So when our friends visit, they have some place to park the rafts even though everybody flies um and uh we have an animal adoption center <laughs> coming up as well and um, lots of different things if you do have ideas please drop them in the comments thank you so much please take the time to like subscribe and all that youtube stuff it really really helps out the channel uh, as we try to continue to grow this community if you have friends please share um but yeah I'm really, really excited with all the progress we've made. And um, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, this is Darby Topknot from the Arcanart server saying bye for now.